Five things they never tell you about Linux CNC on Debian Trixie. So you've decided to do it. You're upgrading your Linux CNC machine to Debian Trixie. You're picturing that shiny new 6.12 real-time kernel, a modern operating system, and a snappier, more responsive setup for your mill or lathe. You've backed up your configs, you've skimmed the forums, and you're ready for a smooth ride into the future of open source CNC. But what you might not be expecting are the cryptic machine stopping latency errors that can pop up out of nowhere and bring your G code to a screeching halt. You're probably not prepared for the moment your trusty MISA hardware, the heart of your machine, suddenly throws a watchdog error or an error finishing read and refuses to talk to the new OS. For some, this isn't just an upgrade, it's the beginning of a real technical headache. Before you tear your hair out and flash your old system back onto the drive, I'm going to walk you through the five critical curveballs they never tell you about when moving your Linux CNC system to Trixie. And more importantly, I'm going to show you how to see them coming and how to fix them. Section one, nightmare number one, the upgraded real-time kernel can be a real latency trap. First, let's talk about the promise versus the reality of Trixie's new kernel. Debian Trixie comes with Linux CNC 2.94 already installed and offers the new 6.12 kernel with preempt RT capabilities. On paper, this is fantastic news, a modern, Mainline real-time kernel should mean better performance and lower latencies. It's one of the main reasons to even think about upgrading. But here's the potential nightmare. For some users, it's not better. In fact, it can be worse. People are reporting on the forums that after a seemingly perfect install, everything appears to work. You can home the machine, jog the axes, and even start a job. But then, a few minutes into it, it happens. The dreaded error finishing read. The machine stops, your workpiece is likely ruined, and you're left staring at a screen, wondering at what just went wrong. You're not going crazy. This is a real issue some users are hitting when moving to Trixie, and it echoes similar problems seen with Debian Bookworm. So what do you do? The usual bag of tricks, disabling C states and hyper-threading in the BIOS and turning off secure boot, doesn't always work here. Some have tried advanced fixes like CPU isolation and IRQ affinity scripts to dedicate hardware just for Linux CNC, and still the network latency spikes persist for them. The hard truth is that this new kernel can have a more sensitive relationship with modern hardware. Little things might throw off its timing. The old fixes are a silver bullet and the stability you expected might not be there right out of the box. You're sometimes trading a known stable setup for a black box of potential timing conflicts. The solution isn't one single setting, it can be a painstaking process of elimination, and that's the first headache they don't warn you about. Section two, nightmare number two, your MISA card might betray you. For serious Linux CNC users, MISA hardware is the gold standard. Cards like the 7996 or 7996S are the rock solid heart of thousands of machines. They just work until you upgrade to Trixie and then suddenly they don't. Here is the second and arguably one of the most terrifying potential nightmares, the error finishing read error. This isn't some subtle software glitch. This is a hard fault where the MISA card declares itself a major failure. A red error light flicks on, the motion halts instantly and Linux CNC is dead in the water. Users report everything seems fine, they can home the machine and then a few minutes later, with no warning, the read error triggers and it's game over. What's so frustrating about this issue is that it feels like a hardware failure, but it's probably not. Your perfectly good MISA card is fine. The nightmare is that this problem appears for some users to be linked to a conflict within Trixie's network driver stack 
especially with certain Realtek Ethernet adapters. Follow the common advice to install official Realtek DKMS drivers to improve network stability. You can get caught in a technical catch-22. A stable Ethernet connection is critical for the MISA card or for EtherCAT, but the OS you just upgraded to may have a deep-seated conflict between its kernel, network drivers and the very hardware you depend on. People on the forums have spent ages fighting this, swapping hardware and diving into network configs only to have the watchdog error or error finishing read come back. It's a conflict buried deep in the system that can turn your most reliable piece of hardware into a massive point of frustration. Section three, nightmare number three. The easy upgrade path is full of potholes. If you look online, the advice for upgrading from Debian Bookworm to Trixie sounds dead simple. Just edit your sources.list, change Bookworm to Trixie, run an update and an upgrade. Sounds like a five minute job, right? And for a basic desktop, it often is. But for a real time system like Linux CNC, this simplicity can be a mirage. Welcome to the third nightmare, the swamp of installation quirks and broken dependencies. Following that simple upgrade path can leave your Linux CNC installation in a broken state. For instance, some users have found that a critical dependency called libqt5 webengine5 is, is missing and it's not, it fails to install correctly during the automated upgrade. You have to know to go back and install it manually afterwards. Otherwise, Linux CNC just won't install. It can get worse for more advanced setups. For EtherCAT users, the upgrade process doesn't copy the configuration files to the new kernel. Your entire EtherCAT setup, which might have taken you days to get right, just vanishes. The fix is to know that you might have to completely remove and reinstall the EtherCAT packages to force the system to regenerate those configs for your current kernel. These aren't just little hiccups, they are roadblocks that can leave you with a non-functional machine and no obvious errors to guide you. The upgrade process is sold as a straight road but it's more like a path with a few potential minefields. You're almost expected to know which bits might break and how to fix them manually after the simple upgrade is done. This hidden complexity can burn an entire weekend of troubleshooting. Look, if this information is already saving you from pulling your hair out, do me a favor and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out and tells me you want more deep dives like this and also subscribe so you don't miss my next video. Stay watching to the end to get our exclusive installation checklist that will tell you how to get through the minefield. So now let's get back to it. Section four, nightmare number four, the desktop environment trap. When you install a fresh copy of Debian Trixie, you're greeted with beautiful modern desktop environments like GNOME 48 or KDE Plasma 6.3. They're slick, feature rich, and look fantastic. And using them for your Linux CNC machine is the fourth nightmare waiting to pounce. Here's the trap. These heavy, graphically accelerated desktop environments that use Wayland are often poison for Linux CNC. They're constantly running background processes, compositing windows, and using system resources in ways that can and often will introduce latency spikes. You could have the most powerful PC in the planet, but if your desktop environment decides to render a fancy notification at the wrong moment, it can interrupt the real-time kernel and crash your job. Experienced Linux CNC users have known this for years, and the wisdom has always been to use an XORG based lightweight desktop like XFCE or MATE. With Trixie, this is less of a recommendation and more of a requirement for survival. On the bright side, some forum users, including myself, report that the Cinnamon desktop, which balances modern features with lower overhead, seems to run surprisingly well with Trixie's runtime kernel without causing hangs. 
This is a great data point because it highlights the core issue. Your choice of desktop is a critical part of your machine's stability. The nightmare isn't just about picking the wrong desktop, it's about the subtle ways the environment can sabotage you. For example, something as simple as having a USB webcam plugged in can create enough system chatter to cause latency problems. To get a stable system on Trixie, you have to adopt a ruthless minimalist mindset. Strip down the desktop, disable any service you don't absolutely need, and unplug any hardware that isn't essential for running the machine. The beautiful modern desktop Trixie offers is a siren song that can lure your CNC machine onto the rocks of real-time instability. Section five. Nightmare number five, you're on your own, the documentation black hole. So you've hit a wall, your latency is through the roof, your Mesa card is throwing watchdog errors, or your install is busted. So what's the first thing we all do? Go looking for the official document. And that brings you to the fifth and final nightmare. For Debbie and Trixie, there really isn't much out there yet. Whilst Linux CNC 2.94 is officially a part of Trixie, the vast majority of official guides, tutorials and walkthroughs are still focused on Debian Bookworm or even older versions. The official Linux CNC documentation site has placeholders for Trixie, but the detailed handholding guides that new users depended on are still pretty sparse. This creates a documentation black hole. You're left to fend to yourself, piecing together scattered clues from deep inside the Linux CNC forums. You'll find my post about the libqt WebEngine 5 dependency, another thread about the Mesa error finishing read error, and a third person detailing their bias settings for latency. But there's no single authoritative guide to walk you through the Trixie installation from start to finish. This is a huge deal. It raises the barrier to entry and turns every new installation into a research project. Unless you're already an expert who knows how to diagnose weird kernel issues, you're flying a bit blind. The community is fantastic at sharing info, but relying on fragmented forum posts is a tough way to build a stable machine controller. You're not following a proven recipe, you're being a test pilot for a new setup, and the official flight manual hasn't even been written yet. That isolation and the hours of trial and error it forces is the final unspoken nightmare for upgrading to Trixie today, unless you follow my guide. Conclusion. So let's recap the five potential nightmares. First, the new 6.12 real-time kernel can introduce stubborn network latency errors that are hard to pin down. Second, your super reliable Mesa card can suddenly halt your machine with watchdog faults, possibly due to network driver conflicts. Third, the easy upgrade path is full of potential potholes like broken dependencies and missing configs. Fourth, modern desktop environments are a trap that can sabotage your real-time performance. And finally, the lack of official consolidated documentation for Trixie leads you to solve these complex problems on your own with help from the community. But don't worry, this machine whisperer has gone before you, so grab our Trixie checklist, a boring step-by-step -step guide to taming Tricky Trixie. The goal here isn't to scare you away from Debbie and Trixie at all. It's a powerful and promising platform that will likely become the new standard for Linux CNC. But the key is to go into it with your eyes wide open. Upgrading right now isn't always the seamless experience you might hope for. It takes patience, a willingness to troubleshoot, and awareness of these specific technical curveballs. Knowledge about these five nightmares isn't a reason to give up. It's the knowledge you need to be the one who succeeds, saving yourself days of frustration. It's the difference between a successful upgrade and a machine that's down for a week. So what do you think? Have you run into any of these issues with Debbie and Trixie? Or maybe you've hit a completely different nightmare. Be sure to grab our exclusive checklist and follow it to a T. And let me know your experiences down in the comments. 
I read every single one and your experience could be the exact thing that helps someone else get their machine running. Thanks for watching and happy machining.